Basic life support is an essential skill that is commonly assessed in the PLAB 2 examination. The examiners will expect you to be aware of the standard UK basic life support algorithm. In any scenario with an unresponsive or unconscious patient, you should use this algorithm. In the UK, the basic life support algorithm consists of the following. First, checking that it is safe to approach. Secondly, assessing if the patient is responsive. Thirdly, calling for help. Fourthly, looking, listening and feeling for signs of life. And lastly, if there are no signs of life, beginning cardiopulmonary resuscitation, otherwise known as CPR. The first stage of the algorithm involves checking it is safe to approach the patient. You must do this to ensure your own safety. Make it clear to the examiner that you are doing this. I'm just going to check that it's safe to approach and there's no sign of any danger. The next step is to assess responsiveness. Assess the patient's response to a verbal stimulus by speaking loudly to them. Assess their response to a painful stimulus by squeezing the trapezius or rubbing the sternum. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, hello, can you hear me? No response. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, hello, can you hear me? As in real life, you are expected to call for help. Shout loudly so the examiner understands what you are doing. In a PLAB 2 OSCE station requiring you to do basic life support, you are likely to have some assistance. You should inform them of your situation that you have an unresponsive patient and ask them to get help. Outside of the hospital, you should ask people to call for help in the form of an ambulance by dialing 999. In the hospital, you should ask people to call for help in the form of the hospital resuscitation team by dialing 2222. You should ask any assistants to return once they have called for help. Ask them to return with any resuscitation equipment they have available. In the UK, hospitals and GP practices have designated resuscitation trolleys. These trolleys carry the essential equipment to manage life-threatening conditions such as defibrillators, oxygen, cannulas and resuscitation drugs. If you are based in a hospital setting in the scenario, you can ask for any assistant to bring the resuscitation trolley. After asking for help, you should assess the patient for signs of life. Begin by performing a head tilt and chin lift to open the airway. Next, assess the patient. Kneel next to the patient and look for chest rising. Listen for breath sounds. Feel for breath and feel for a carotid pulse. 